Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, I'm Uncle Tim, and this is Wednesday's Word. And today's word is about picking a fight. So I'm going to tell you a little story about a guy who used to go around picking fights. You probably know this guy. His name was Jesus. Most everybody's heard of him, but not everybody knows about him. And a lot of a lot of us grew up with these misconceptions about Jesus, how he was this meek, mild, almost wimpy sort of a guy that, you know, just wasn't very a very manly man. And I saw that in a lot of the men in the churches that I attended, a lot of very meek men that were not what I would consider manly men. They were almost effeminate, just pretty much wimpy. But, you know, I, as I have grown and read the Bible more and more and, and read a few books that kind of opened my eyes, I've learned that Jesus wasn't this meek, mild, wimpy guy. He was actually a pretty manly man, and he was not one to back down from a fight. Not a physical fight. He didn't get in fisticuffs with anybody. But he was not afraid to confront people and point out their hypocr hypocrisy and challenge their notions and their rules. And I just noticed this recently as I was re reading through the Bible again and going through the Gospels. It just struck me how many times that Jesus, as he was healing people, he could have done it at any time during the week. You know, any time he wanted, he, he healed people. And he did. He healed people all the time. But... It struck me how many times it was recorded that he healed somebody and he did it on the Sabbath day. And at that time, that was a forbidden thing to do basically anything on the Sabbath. They, they had, God had instituted a day of rest and over the centuries man had added on their own rules to that day of rest down to the point where they had it, how many actual steps you could take you know, how far you could travel. You could only travel so many steps on the Sabbath day. And you could only carry a certain amount of weight that day. If you carried any more than that or took any more steps than what they prescribed, then it was considered work and you had broken the law. And they had hundreds and hundreds of laws that they had tacked on to this day. And it was just to the point of ridiculousness. It was no longer what God had intended. God had intended... For people to take a day of rest from their work but they had made it into this very specific just over the top set of rules that you had to follow anyhow jesus he he knew that and he didn't put up with any of that he would he would heal people on the sabbath and he even did it right in the temple in front of all the religious leaders as they were standing there he could tell you know what they were thinking. He brought up this man with a crippled hand and he brought him up right in front of everybody and he looked around the room. He looked those guys right in the eye. Is it right to do evil or good on the Sabbath? And none of them answered him. And so Jesus, you know, just know he was had some anger towards these guys because of their their hearts that were so set on the rules they were missing what God really intended and so he healed that man right there in front of him and boy did that gripe those guys they were so mad from that day on they sought to kill him because of that because he healed somebody that had been had a crippled hand for years and years because he healed him on the Sabbath day they thought that was worthy of death and that was just one example there were other examples of Jesus basically picking fights with these guys he to challenge their notions and to point out what they were doing was not right was not in what God had intended they were following rules and not didn't have the heart of God the love of God they all they focused on were following the rules and that's what not not what God's about God's not about rules God wants your heart and if he has your heart, then your actions will follow. And it's not about, oh, you have to 
talk this way and you can't say that and you have to listen to this kind of music and not that kind. That's what not what God's about. God wants your heart and then once he has your heart, you'll make the right choices. You'll choose the, to talk a certain way and not because it's a rule, but because you know that it's right. Anyhow, one of my favorite examples of Jesus picking a fight I'm going to pick a fight is when he, he went into the temple and he looked around and at that time people had to, to come and make sacrifices and a lot of people traveled from far distances and it wouldn't be feasible for them to bring a sheep with them, you know, hundreds of miles. And so they would sell a sheep where they lived and then take that money with them. And when they got to the temple, they would buy an animal at the temple to, to use for their sacrifice. Well, over the years, they had uh, these merchants had set up shop in the temple and were now selling animals there and basically turned it into a marketplace. And there were money changers because people were coming from different parts of the world. You know, you had to get your the right kind of money to be able to buy the sacrifices and they were all taking their cut, you know, charging a little extra for the animal and the money changers were keeping a little bit for themselves. Anyhow, Jesus walked in and he saw this and he was so disgusted with what these guys were doing in the temple of God. Hopefully that's not too windy. Ooh, it's gonna blow over my tripod. Anyhow, Jesus was so disgusted with what they were doing, he grabbed a whip and he he chased all the animals and the men out of the temple there, out of the courtyard. I mean, physically whipped them out of there. And that, I mean, not just, you know, he didn't just use some magic power or something. He went in there and he went after those guys physically with whips and chased them out, chased the animals out and went around and dumped over the tables of the money changers and told them to get out and because they had made God's house into a den of thieves and it was meant to be a place of worship. Anyhow, I just, I, I love that story about Jesus and it just shows that he was not a wimp. He wasn't afraid to confront people when they were doing something wrong and he would go after them and point out the things that they were doing that were wrong. And I'm not suggesting that we go into churches and dump over the pews and, and get in physical confrontations, but when you see a religious leader that's not doing something right, you need to point it out to them. And if they're not going to listen, then you need to shake off the dust of that place and move on to somewhere else. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope you look in. If you haven't read the Bible, you need to get in and read the Bible, and especially the Gospels, and, and find out what Jesus is about. And I bet you'll find that he's not at all like you thought he was. All right. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.